So this is what we're going to be tying today. This little grub. It works really well for sunfish and trout and bass or really whatever each grubs. This is McFly Angler. And it starts now. So the hook I'm using today is Risen's Barbless Shrimp, the 2457. And it's a 2x heavy, 2x wide, 2x short. So, and it's a curved hook, as you can see. And I'm going to be adding some lead wire, 0.015 sized. We're just going to start it on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to do 10 wraps of lead. Make sure this is all flattened down. And for thread, I'm starting with uh, Vivas Power Thread 140 in white. We're going to use two different threads here, but this is what we're starting with. So we're going to start it right above the lead and push that lead up. We want it right about there, a little gap in between the hook eye and the lead. Maybe come back just a little bit. And then we're going to use the thread here to jump over the lead. And then we can cut it off. And by the way, the scissors I'm using are Risen's mitten scissors. I love these things. Great for getting in really tight. Really fine tips on them. And they have no problem cutting this power thread. All right, so we're just going to smooth this out a little. So I'm going to spin my bodkin counterclockwise here to flatten out the thread and give a nice thin base. Next we want some mono. And this is actually fluorocarbon. So I just got a spool of extra stuff that I am not using. Okay, so we're just gonna tie this on right at the back and see how it extends right up to the hook eye and come back just slightly if you want. I'm going to make a couple wraps to hold that into place. And I've got this. It's Kelly's Nymph Skin. And it's just little strips of this like latex kind of material. I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut a little corner off. Capture the corner. We're just going to make sure that we've got some flat thread just to make this nice and even as we come up. And now I'm switching thread to Vivas Tenot in black. I'm just going to start that at the head here. Wrap under once. And then we can pull everything rearward, tie back up onto it. Now you can cut off the white thread and your tag end. All right, so next we're going to start wrapping this skin around and we're going to stretch it to the first uh, two wraps here. And then we're just going to loosen this up a little. And as we wrap, you'll see it will give a nice ribbing look. You want to try to keep this as even of wraps as possible. Okay, once you wrap up, capture it. You can wrap back up onto it to make sure it doesn't move. I'm going to stretch it really tight, cut it off close. And now we're just going to wrap the mono. And we want to go right behind the edge of each of these wraps and that's going to help make it look a little more like ridged and 
and we can capture it one wrap and two wraps over it. Let's do a third right up to the head, and then we can pull it rearward. This stuff is slick, so you want to make sure you wrap it well. So when you pull it rearward and wrap over it a couple times, it's going to hold it a little better into place. And now we're just going to build up that head a little. Good. Go ahead and whip finish. Three or four turn whip finish, cut it off close, and we're done with the tying portion. And there we go. You can see that it's got some pretty good ribbing. It looks like a maggot, basically. And you could be done here if you want it to be white. I like adding a little, little bit. I've got this marker. I got it from Risen Fly. It's called Fine Color. It's an alcohol based marker. It could work. And this is the ochre color. I'm just going to do a, a little sweep of it over top. We're just going to work that in with our finger. Might need to do a second. All right. You can see that kind of gives a little bit of color on top. I'm going to do one more where it's not worked in and just leave it like that. That's going to give a nice little maggot look. Kind of like a little dirty maggot. And then one final step here is to cement the head. And I'm using this Solarez Ultra Thin for it. I like it because it makes it nice, a nice shiny looking head. Let me just cure it with our UV light. And there we go. Fly is now finished. Super easy. And I mean, if anyone knows, uh, fish love maggots, so they love this. It's great for sunfish, even bass, definitely trout, anything that is going to eat a maggot. You can see that it has some natural ribbing looks to it. It's going to be looking like a segmented maggot there. It has a really nice look to it. And when this is moving around in the water, it's going to be looking like it's wiggling because it's on the curved hook. It's fairly weighted, so this will get down. It's good for a lead fly, and it's bright and easy to see, so it, it kind of like an attractor as well, if you wanted to use it that way. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you haven't already, please check out my sponsor, Risen Fly. It's not why I use their hooks or gear or anything that I use from them. They, I, I find that they are very high quality, and they're really good price as well, so package of 25 hooks, high quality hooks. I mean, these are strong, super duper sharp, and they are like in the $4.50 range. They're barbless. They sell some barbed hooks as well. You could even tie it on something like this, like a longer shank if you wanted something a little longer, but they sell these. These are barbed as well, but they sell a whole different array of different hooks. Um, they also sell rods and reels and pretty much anything you could need to be able to fly fish. So definitely check them out. As always, I will link everything I used in the description section of the video to make it easy for you guys to find this material or all the materials. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me out and the channel it gets that algorithms doing well with YouTube and they promote my videos better. So that really helps out. Thank you very much. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.